Hi, this is Marcus again with Bridge Cable. I'm one of the lead technicians here. Um, this particular video, we're going to look at terminations with the Keystone Jacks. This particular brand that we use here has one of their speed jackers. Um, you can also use a regular punch down, uh, which you would use for like a 66 block or 110 block. Uh, but for this particular one, uh, when we're doing jobs with upwards of two to 300 cables, doing a punch down isn't as efficient as using a speed jacker. So I'm going to quickly go through, I'm going to show you how we set it up, how we terminate it, and then also how we change these blades out because over time the blades will go dull. Um, these uh, Keystone Jacks um, are CAT6 rated. Um, on the sides here, they have the uh, color codes. Uh, typically we do the B side. So if we look at the bottom, the uh, back here is white, brown, brown, white, green, green. We flip it to the other side, look at the bottom, which is the B side. We got white, orange, orange, white, blue, blue. Um, and we always want to make sure, you know, when we're doing these, that we do a quick visual just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. There's, you know, everything looks aesthetically pleasing on it. Um, they also do come with these dust covers. Um, these typically would come in like a box of 50 and you should have 50 of these dust covers. And we want to make sure that we put those on at the end. Again, we're using just your typical CAT6 cable. It's riser cable, but it would work with any kind of outdoor, any kind of CAT6 cable these jacks will be able to do. Um, as I spoke in the other video, I'm using these clines um, and I'm just gonna strip the outside of this jacket to expose the inside. So uh, I'm going to um, use the yellow string. Again, just a common practice. That yellow string, I'm gonna use it to pull down I know that I've scored there, but I, just to be safe, I wanna make sure that I have a clean area to start. So I'm going to separate everything. We have the spine, we have the outer jacket, and then we have that pull string that we wanna cut off. So I will cut all these there, and that will leave me to be where I'm at with the, uh, the uh, cables. You could do one of two things. You can leave these long or some people like to cut them uh, to put them in this jack. For this particular video, I'll just leave them at, at the uh, length that they're at. Um, so looking at these jacks, we could see that on this right side, when you're looking at it, on this right side, we have the brown at the top, green at the bottom. On this left side here, we have the orange at the top, the blue at the bottom. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to split it. I'm going to split the cable up as it is there. So you can you can maneuver these around a little bit. I mean, they are going to have to cross just based off of the way that they are. So um, we set it up like that. So you can see this will match up the brown at the top, green at the bottom, orange at the top, blue at the bottom. Um, so what I do with these is I will try to line the bottom of where this cut is flush with here, uh, the bottom of the jack. We don't, code says, or Bixie says, you can't be more than roughly about a half inch outside, like a half inch of the jacket um, can't be shown. I typically like to get it as close as I can just so that way we stay within that threshold. So I'm gonna wire this up and then I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Um, when you're doing these, you want to make sure that your pairs are, excuse me, that your pairs are untwisted. You keep the twist as close to the, um, as close to the, uh, the, the location as possible. The way that I personally do it, I like to hold my finger and then give it a twist. So um, I've got the brown and the green in. So now I'm going to work the blue. And I'll just hold it at the bottom just so that way I can easily twist it. And once you get that twist to the point where you could branch it off into there, I usually like to do that. But um, over time, as you do this, you will get, you'll find your own way of doing things. So right now, I'm going to twist these just to make it easier for you to see. Um, when you push these in, you want to try to pull them down as much as possible. So you can see right now, looking from the side, you see how my jacket is pretty flush with there on both sides. Um, you can see how my cables are split up. I have the white, brown, brown, white, green, green, white, orange, orange, white, blue, blue, which matches up with the B side on this side and the B side on that side. 
Now that I've verified that all my cables are in the correct way, we're gonna use the speed jacker. The speed jacker has many adjustments that you can do with this um, screw right in here. This bottom screw, when you squeeze it, it will free that up to allow you to be able to twist it up or down. And as you loosen that, this top one, if you turn it um, up or down, you will see that this, which is where the teeth are, that's gonna move up or down. Um, so right now we have it at a good setting, but if I was needing to make adjustments, let's say that um, I go to cut it and it's not cutting everyone off correctly, I can make little adjustments and then once I find a sweet spot, this bottom one, if I turn that to, if I turn that clockwise, that's going to lock that into place and you shouldn't have to make adjustment for a while. So now that I've got that, I take with the notch up on top of the keystone jack, that's going to go directly into here. And sometimes you got to kind of put it up at an angle and then push it in. And what you want to make sure is on this opposite side here, it's sitting up. It's not sitting flush with there, but it's you push it all the way through and you'll feel it stop. So once we have it in there, I can kind of let that go. Um, and now I just squeeze this handle and you'll feel it stop. It's not going to click or anything like that, but you will squeeze it and these should pop right off. Um, and that way you know that it, it's cut well. So now I can push the uh, the jack out and you can kind of see looking in there how we want it to be. You look on the side also, you know that it's a good termination because you can see the copper and it's all the way down at the bottom and it's consistent going all the way around. Also, when you look in there, you can see that it made it past the little metal blade in there so it didn't nick it and you will have a good uh, connection. So one of the things we also want to do and, and learn how to is the changing of the blade. Let's say I, I'm out on a job. I just did 200 uh, terminations with this Keystone Jack and I used this for this job and I had 10 other jobs that I used it. There is a high chance that this blade could start to get dull. You may see that certain pairs may not be cutting or it's just not cutting and you've done multiple adjustments. Well, these blades are replaceable. So all you would do is right there, you can just pull this out and that pops out. Um, they do sell these individually. Um, I would recommend maybe having one or two as spares. Sometimes I have seen where they do pop out where they, they are loose in here. So if you lose that, now you're going to be kind of stuck. But that's pretty much what it is. It, it lines up with your jack. Um, you can kind of see... This blade in here is what's gonna cut off on the side. You have a blade here and a blade there, and that's what's gonna cut the wires off. So all you do is pull that out, and to put it back, you just slide it right in there. There's a little groove in there that you'll slide it, and then boom, you're ready to go. This particular one has this feature where you can lock that in, so that way it stays in there, and that will keep that from pulling out most of the times. But overall, this is a very good, um, an efficient speed jacker um, that if used correctly, it could really uh, work in your favor, um, especially when we have like these big jobs where we're doing two to 300 cables. Um, I would say pull up a chair, get comfortable, use this, and you'll see the results. Again, uh, we did a uh, termination on this Keystone jack, um, and we used their supplied uh, speed jacker.